everyone, just coming at you today to share with you an easy, easy, easy spider web design using these gel paint pots right here. Now these gel paint pots I bought on eBay and I told you that for the month of October I was going to do my best to use these paint pots in all of my Halloween designs. So here's another one using those. Now this spider web design, I did do this on an accent nail in my sugar skull nails and I will include a picture and I will also include the link down here if you care to go and watch that video. First what you'll need is you will need your main color for the nail and in this case we're going to use white on one nail and we're going to use orange, the traditional Halloween color. You're going to need of course black to draw the web, a brush to apply the color to the nail, and you're going to need a very, very fine detailing liner brush to draw your web on. And this is so simple, and, and if you can write a U or a C, you can do this design. As always, you would prepare the nail surface. If you're using a natural nail, you would need to prepare that nail surface and add a foundation and cure your foundation, then apply your color. If you have nail enhancements, whether they be acrylic or gel, you would just need to take off the shine and slightly roughen up that nail surface so that your gel polish will adhere to the nail. We first start off by applying our first layer of gel. You want to use a nice thinner layer not too thick, not too thin. Alright, we're ready to apply the second coat. Most of these paints in the pots are two to three coats. This is the second coat. It's good coverage and you don't want to cure it yet, okay? This would be um, the bottom of the nail and this of course is the top. We're going to have the web coming out this way. Now I'm going to top coat the nail and what I use for a top coat is I use my sculpting gel. It's a thinner consistency than a builder gel and it works just as good. I will put the brand name down below in the description box for you. We're going to do the same thing using the color orange. The traditional Halloween color. Alright, and when we draw the little U's or C's, we're not going to put as many on this one, and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll compare the two. Alright, and here is the finished result. I also added a small tiny little rhinestone to each of the webs to represent a little spider. And I think it's really simple. I think anyone can do it. And of course, if you have longer nails, it's going to look a little bit more different. But either way, the effect is going to be awesome. So anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Bye now.